Thank you. St. Louis and I are here today in solidarity with our immigrant, immigrant community and in opposition to the demonizing and scapegoating by far-right MAGA extremists. Let's be clear, there is a crisis right now, but it's not because the southern border, border is open or because immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country, which the Republicans and their racist cult leader Donald Trump want you to believe. The real crisis As for is words one to be taken of, down. nope, it is, he is not a current the, president. You know, the gentlelady will suspend until the motion is dealt with. What, what, were, the, uh, what were the offending words? The, Would Mr. Cloud state the words? Mr. Cloud, will you state the words? She, she mentioned that Republicans were racist. I didn't say that. I said racist cult leader Donald Trump, who is not a current uh, president, so it is not engaging in personality. She said Republican members and there. No, she's clarifying she's not referring to Republicans in general. She was referring to one it, individual who is words, not protected by the rules. Absolutely. The words right. say, which the Republicans and their racist cult leader, Donald Trump. Mr. Ranking Member, I don't think that you're the one to rule on this. I think the chair. Here, no, I was stating let's, just let's the hold, rule. Let's hold yeah. for just a moment. The rules apply only to uh, when you're engaging in personalities of specific members, so the comments are in order. The gentlelady can continue. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And so I'll go back again, because I want that to be clear, that there is a crisis right now, but it is not because the southern border is open or because immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country, which the Republicans and their racist cult leader, Donald Trump, want you to believe. The real crisis is one of irregular migration. People around the world are fleeing from extraordinary levels of violence, persecution, and natural disasters. These catastrophes that force people from their homes have been fueled by long-standing U.S. government policies supported by presidents of both parties. Every war we fund, every government we undermine, every blockade and sanction we impose on civilians, and every day we fail to address the climate crisis is another investment in the displacement of others. There is also a crisis of humanity. It is shocking how our political discourse, re it reduces people, actual humans, real people, who are all too often forced to flee their homes to pawns whose lives and rights can be traded away for weapons or some kind of perceived political gain. It is devastating how little we seem to focus on the horrific conditions they are facing. Parents and children are suffering as they try to navigate our broken immigration system and are met with cruelty and confusion. In the face of this suffering, all GOP members of this committee can manage to do is shout at immigrants as if they aren't people. And then there is a crisis of logic. MAGA Republicans, but also some Democrats, want to pretend that a lack of enforcement is the problem, even though this administration has doubled the number of deportations between fiscal years 2022 and 2023, and even deported 18,000 families in that time frame. So unsurprisingly, this hasn't solved any of the underlying problems, but some folks b seem to believe that if we double down on our failed policies of the past, somehow these problems will go away, but nothing could be further from the truth. The truth is that we m will undermine our immigration system and make all the existing problems worse if we repeat the mistakes of the past. Failing to end our dangerous policies that fuel chaos abroad will only guarantee more people being forced to flee their homes and countries. Right now, Congress and the administration are sig signaling they are willing to use immigrant communities as bargaining chips for more war and more weapons. However, raising the credible fear standard and imposing violent enforcement policies like mass family separation and summary deport deportation would destroy our asylum system for a generation, would violate our obligations under international law and ensure more chaos in the immigration system. The damage caused by this chaos and inhumanity is personal for me because, and my constituents. My office has seen a significant increase in immigration cases in the recent months. Each one shows the human dimension of this issue. A family fleeing the horrific violence in Sudan. A mother who can't take care of her ill child. A woman with cancer whose family members can't visit her. A doctor whose fiance can't live with her. A young man whose wife died and whose family members couldn't attend her funeral. 
Endless wait times for family members fleeing violence and persecution in Haiti and Gaza and elsewhere. We are doing the best we can as an office to help our constituents in St. Louis um, and their families face these crushing obstacles. But ultimately, Congress must act. Congress must legislate. We know what the solution is, building a just and humane immigration system and addressing the root causes of migration. That looks like expanding lawful pathways using parole authority, increasing asylum case processing capacity, securing our authorization for folks who are already here, protecting our dreamers, ensuring that states and cities have the resources they need to process new arrivals, and ending support for war, blockade, sanctions, and other policies that disproportionately harm civilians. But instead of supporting real solutions we know will work, MAGA Republicans want to demonize and scapegoat our, Im our immigrants for short-term political gain. So let's be clear, giving in to the extreme demands of Donald Trump and, and MAGA Republicans is what will undermine our immigration system. Rejecting our obligations under the Refugee Convention will undermine our immigration system. Cruelty will undermine our immigration system and our own humanity. The real crisis is failing to act and substituting cruelty as a meaningful policy solution. We must not surrender to this failed policy approach. We must stand with the people, all the people, all of humanity, and with a fair and humane approach to immigration and foreign policy. That is what St. Louis and I will continue to push for. Thank you, and I yield back. Thank you.